Hi there, welcome to this online configuration video for the HandyWave HPS120 series radio modem. The purpose of this video is to show you how to configure the HandyWave in TerraTerm. Uh, the manual which is included with the HandyWave will mention HyperTerminal, which was a uh, free application included in Windows 98, Windows 95, Windows XP, Windows 2000, but with newer versions of the Windows operating system such as Vista and Windows 7 and further on Windows 8, uh, it doesn't include HyperTerminal anymore. So what you need to do is download a program called TerraTerm and this will allow you to configure the unit, your little handy wave. Uh, when you download TerraTerm and run the application, we'll come up with a new con connection window here. What we want to do is select Serial and the serial port or RS-232 port where your handy wave is connected. On mine it's on COM5, yours will probably be different. And then click OK. As standard through TerraTerm, the uh, parameters which you need to set it up to talk to the handy wave are already pre-configured. Uh, it's just the default um, settings. If you have a different baud rate, uh, you can actually go through setup and select serial port and here we have access to baud rate data, parity, stop, flow control. But as default from the factory, every handy wave is set up at 9600 baud. Hit the reset button and we'll see here we get the message. Uh, hit five seconds and five seconds later hit CR, control return or enter. When you hit enter, you'll see this uh, uh, basically uh, information window that'll pop up here and it'll show you what your handy wave is currently set up. At the moment on the COM port, which is our main settings, it's set as 9600 8N and 1. Now say we have a device which transmits at 19,200 bits per second. It's a very common request to have the unit uh, changed to that baud rate. So for that, all we do is we follow the manual that mentions an uppercase B. And here we have our uh, bits per second values. This is 1200, 2400, 4800, and 9600. As we can see, 19200 is number four. So we just hit the number four key, hit enter. And we can now see here on the COM port, it's changed to 19200 bits per second. Again, we can change it again if it's something different. Another common one is uh, option number 7, which is 115,200 bits per second. Certainly newer equipment has a uh, faster uh, communication rate, so we hit number 7. And as we can see here, it is changed now on our information window. Below that, you'll see factory settings. Every time you hit the reset button on the unit, it will default back to this, so we can access this configuration menu again. Uh, if you power down the handy wave, uh, you move it to another machine, it will still stay at this 115,200 bits per second value, but until you hit that reset button, uh, it won't def default back to 9600. So hit and reset will cause it to default back to the factory setting. Hit X, or uppercase X, and it will save changes and reboot, and the unit is now configured for 115,200 bits per second. You'll have to do this on both units, so plug your paired unit uh, into HyperTerminal, refollow these steps, and you should be good to go uh, communicating at your faster baud rate. 